long day of dealing with contracts, dealing with uh, wrestling promoters, dealing with legal entanglements, dealing with all of the stresses and strife that you normally deal with in professional wrestling. I would like nothing more than to come home, come back here to my house, and relax. I would like to maybe sit back and have a nice dinner, a couple of drinks, relax a little bit, but I can't do that. Not tonight. Because 15 minutes ago, I got a real interesting phone call. Seems that an uh, associate of mine, maybe you can call him a spy, maybe you can call him a stooge, it doesn't matter. Somebody who supplies me with information let me know something very interesting. He gave me some information about something that happened last Saturday night in Richmond, Missouri. You see, last Saturday night in Richmond, Missouri, the Black Hand Warriors were booked. Jack Gamble was also booked, but I was not booked out there. I was booked over in East Carondelet, Illinois with Iron Man Ken Casa. We had business to attend to out there. And as great as I am, I can only be in one place at one time. But last Tuesday morning, Myself, Jack Gamble, the Black Hand Warriors, all sat down and had a meeting. We put our game plan together for Richmond, Missouri. And the instructions were real simple. Jack Gamble was supposed to watch the Black Hand Warriors' backs. The Black Hand Warriors were supposed to watch Jack Gamble's back. And at the right time, the three of them were supposed to get that little pipsqueak, John Webb, three-on-one, and take care of business. Picked up where we left off, if you will. Well, my contact who just called me has let me know that that did not happen in Richmond, Missouri. Worse yet, it turns out Jack Gamble forgot where he came from, and he turned on the Black Hand Warriors. He turned his back on the Black Hand Warriors. He teamed up with John Webb, that little pipsqueak, and decided that he wanted to go to the other side of the tracks. See, Jack Gamble... You're a young man. And let, let's be clear. You, by turning your back on the Black Hand Warriors, you have turned your back on the Travis Cook organization. And most importantly, you have turned your back on me, Travis Cook. Now, I want you to think about something. You're a young man. A lot of young folks these days, they don't seem to have any loyalty about them. They don't know what loyalty is all about. They don't seem to have that appreciation for those who have taught them and molded them and made them and built them. They think they can do it all on their own. They think they know all the answers. They think they don't need those with a little bit more knowledge, those with a little bit more wisdom to lay the groundwork for them. Well, Jack Gamble, make no mistake, every positive thing that's happened in your life for the last four months has happened because of me. Every match you've won has been because of me. Every positive press clipping you've gotten has been because of me. Every piece of notoriety you've gotten has been because of me. And suddenly you have forgotten who made you what you are. You've forgotten the man that made you a blue chip athlete in professional wrestling. You think you've done it all on your own, but in reality, you've done nothing on your own, Jack Gamble. So now it seems like you need to be brought back to reality. And yes, I know that you thought you were a real smart guy by turning your back on the Black Hand Warriors when you were in a building where you knew there was no other member of the Travis Cook organization there. You knew there was nobody else from the TCO within 100 miles of you. Yeah, that's when you decided to do it. But someday you've got to come back to St. Louis, Jack. And when you do, you've got to deal with the Black Hand Warriors. You've got to deal with the professionals, McDarby and Santel. You've got to deal with Iron Man, Ken Casa. And physically, you better believe you will be broken. But you know what? You will not only be broken physically, Jack Gamble. Because what I've got in my hand right here, this is a contract that you signed right here. You signed this contract about four months ago. And in that contract, that contract states that 40% of every dime you make out of professional wrestling goes to Travis Cook. Now, we may no longer be associated professionally. I'm certainly not going to the ring with you anymore. I'm not sharing a locker room with you anymore. I'd probably spit on you if I saw you walking down the street. But we are still tied by ways of this contract, Jack Amble. That means 
every night you're in the ring, I'm getting paid. And even if you get in the ring with the Travis Cook organization, win, lose, or draw, I get paid. And really, that's what's important now, isn't it? But rest assured, when you come back to Dynamo Pro Wrestling, Jack Gamble and John Webb, you will always be outnumbered. Right now, there's five of us, there's two of you, and there may be more. You never know. But you're going to get in that ring with the Travis Cook organization. And when you do, you're going to be beaten physically. You're going to be torn apart physically. And make no mistake, you know that I know all about that car accident. I know all about the medical history. I've seen the medical records. I know exactly how to attack you to get you put out. And I'm going to get paid to do it. Mm-hmm.